quality made by astrophysics and made in the USA guys today is Thursday August the 15th 2024 and little moose is excited today she just received three packages from astrophysics and if we take a look down here it says M20494 this has got to be my second Mach 2 mount serial number 494 little moose you can just see the joy on her face and as you can see she is dressed appropriately for the occasion what do you think little moose So the big box they're calling box one, the long thin box they're calling box two, that's going to be the counterweight shaft, and then your accessories, probably the CP5 and other miscellaneous stuff will be in box three, which is the smaller rectangular box. Well guys, as you can see, little moose, until I give her a treat, she won't move. I can't even get to my new Mach 2. One thing I want to show you, what I do guys, is when I take something like this apart, you'll see on this flap that I've marked A, then I put A here, denoting that that A goes to that same corner, and then I put top, meaning that this surface is the top. So then, as I peel it away, if there's any nuance, something that needs to stay in this orientation, then I know for a later, uh, later time, should I need to pack it up. All right, Moose, are you, you ready for your treat so I can get to my Mach 2? And another thing I'll do is I'll take pictures so that, because, uh, you know, down the road, you, you won't remember how this was orientated. So now I've got pictures showing how everything is in relationship to the A. And one thing that anybody knows that has gotten astrophysics equipment they know how to package things to make sure that they're secure and will get to the intended customer in good shape. I'm always amazed when I opened up box three how everything was packed in there. Nice and neat. I could never get it back that nice. So, we'll get this Mach 2 out of this big heavy duty bag. Set it up. All right, guys, so here you see on the uh, right, my older Mach 2 that I got, and on the left, the brand new one I just got today. Now, before I go any further, I do want to mention, uh, I asked George, uh, I sent him an email with a few questions here before I got this, and then I had to call him today with a question on something, and he walked me through certain things on that keypad, and... Um, Appreciate that, George. That's one thing I like about astrophysics. Excellent, excellent customer service. And anyways, he, I asked him why you can't interchange because he didn't really elaborate. I said, well, why can't you interchange the CPs? Because the CPs have the same serial number as the mount. Uh, as you may recall, if you saw my initial unboxing of uh, my first one, he said you don't want to do it. He was emphatic. He said you will have to send back both the CP and the mount I does something software and hardware he says you don't want to do it so I will make sure that each CP is with the uh, instead of just in my regular box of stuff it will stay in the box with the uh, the, the uh, what I use to hold the uh, Mach 2 each one will be with the respective uh, Mach 2 and then also double check so I wanted to point that out. If you have two of them, you probably already know that. If you're thinking about getting two of them, do not interchange the CP5s. So now what I want to do is we're going to take a look at um, some of the differences uh, between the um, original Mach 2 that I have on the right to the new one that's on the left. They're both sitting on Astrophysics 6-inch Eagle tripods. Uh, the new one, I just don't have the 8-inch extension on it. I do have it, but I just don't have it on at the moment. So, <coughs> let's take a look at the one on your right. That is serial number 82. The one on your left is serial number 494. 
The one on your right, I received November 10th, 2020. The one on your left, I received today, August 15th, 2024. Now, the cost of the um, one on the right from 2020 uh, without shipping was $9,280. The one that I received today, exact same thing, was $11,690. Now, both are Mach 2 GTO-L. The L designates that they both have extended temp encoders. Why did I get them? I don't know. I may retire to the Antarctic. Who knows? I figured uh, for the few extra dollars, I think if I recall, the current price of the Mach 2 without the uh, extended temp was 11190 I believe, around there. So I just figured I'll get the extended temp and I wanted it, you know, so I got it for the first one, I'll get it for the second one. Now here's my original Mach 2, serial number 82. And as you, you may recall, if you saw my original uh, unboxing, this is the first time that they came out with inserted stainless steel insert for the uh, counterweight adapter. And then later on, they made uh, counterweight adapters for the 1100 and the 1600 mounts that you could buy uh, to replace the uh, standard ones that came with them. Now here's the one I just received today, serial number 494. Not sure if you can tell, but this is actually bronze. And George just said that it's it, it's a better material and uh, would prevent maybe some of the issues they had when attaching the counterweight. I never had any. I, I, I don't know. I just never had any issues. But that is an upgrade, I would assume, an upgrade bronze inserted bushings now for your counterweight adapter. And as I spoke of earlier, my Mach 2 from 2020, serial number 82, corresponding to the CP5, serial number 82. And then from today, serial number 494, and CP5 494. So I am glad I elaborated with George on the use of the uh, CPs if they were interchangeable. My thinking being when I originally emailed them was, well, what if I go somewhere and I've got both mounts or at the house, one of them goes bad, hell, just put the other one on. And so I, I am glad I asked that question. He did say that uh, there's several spots in the manual, but I guess I just didn't read that manual. So uh, I'm so glad that I asked. Something else that I want to take a look at here, which is different from serial number 82 to today's 494, is the CP5 layout. They're a little different. So here you're going to see the differences as it's very apparent that they've moved these two. They got rid of one of the RS-232 ports, moved the keypad and the uh, 12 volt 24 volt input to the left here you see them on the serial number 82 and then everything else is in the same place RA and deck access cables go here Ethernet USB auto guider and then the other item that they changed was your indicator light the um, serial number 82 Serial number 494. And something else, you know you're getting quality from Astrophysics because they also send you the best in Allen wrenches, the Bondus. I've got so many of these when I was in Tool and Die, but uh, these are very good quality. Nothing but the best from the best. Well, guys, it's time for Little Moose to take her nap. And she hopes that you guys enjoyed this video.